Hey, today's video I'm going to be talking about New Year's resolutions, mostly pertaining to health and why many of the time it, that we don't get it right and we end up falling off by the time January comes to an end. One of the things that I've noticed throughout the years, not just from other people, but also myself, is that throughout the entire year we go in our ebbs and flows of doing things right, doing things wrong. A lot of us do more wrong than right often, especially when it pertains to health. And we get really good at waiting for that time to start doing better, where we get to the point where we're only trying to do good one day out of the year, New Year's resolutions. So you're, you get really good at waiting to where two years go by, Five years go by, decades go by, a lifetime goes by, and you're still waiting. You're waiting to do better. You're still waiting to get better, right? You want to think of it more as something that you can do every day throughout the year. Every day is a resolution, a time to make your life in any way, shape, or form better. I've had to do it for a very long time. There's been times in my life where I really didn't care on improving, I've luckily have held health as a very important staple in my life since I was a younger child, but I know many other people haven't had that opportunity. So there's other areas of my life where I've wanted to do better. And then I've gotten good at waiting and waiting, even just doing YouTube channels or any other type of business or any, anything at all in life. We get really good at waiting and we never get things going. So even with, say, wanting to have a new channel or do a business or do anything like that, you just start where you are with what you have and you go from there no matter what day it is. Now, for health, you could do that in February. You could do that in December. You could do it any time of the year. We often wait until a little bit before the summer so that we can shed a few pounds so we can look a little bit better maybe at the, at the uh, beach or a lot of the times we have an event coming up where that's our motivation to start doing a little better whether we want to fit into our wedding gown or we want to look better uh, maybe in our suit as the best man. So the more you start realizing that you don't have to wait, you don't have to be a waiter, someone that waits and waits and waits and things never get done. You want to start being a doer that when you come up with something in your mind, maybe day one you can't go all in, but you start little by little getting there and you go from being someone who waits and someone that starts getting proactive and does, whether it's in working out or anything that you know you should be doing to get the results you want. Because you could read about doing push-ups all day, but you got to do the push-ups, right? So there's a new year coming up just around the corner. 2023 is going to be a really amazing year for a lot of people and a pretty crazy year for a lot of other people with so many crazy things that have already been happening in the world to other crazy things that are coming. That doesn't mean you have to fall susceptible to them at every corner. If you're used to waiting around, that means you're unprepared for certain events in life. So you're going to be found scared, unknowing what's going on, not, a, not have any idea of what to do next. You're going to get emotional, and for some people, they're going to get crazy. But when you're prepared, when you take action every single day to improve in some way, shape, or form, when things come up in life, whether they're from out, out there things, like out in the world, outside of you, or they're from within, things that you do, things that you cause yourself, you're better prepared to adapt to them and prevent them from happening or put them into better understanding so that you could prepare for things that could be coming next. And that's why health is so important, because it lives you with more clarity in your mind and more curiosity to the things that could be going on around us, instead of just kind of having a foggy mind because you're bogged down with overweight, your body isn't working optimally because you don't take in enough nutrients throughout the day or hydration, 
This right here is just some lemonade I make in the winter. It helps me prevent from getting sick so I don't have all the coughs, colds, and ailments most people suffer. Not that I can't get them. I just experience less of the symptoms when I do get sick or even go winters without getting a cold or a cough or a scratchy throat at all. I like it very much. So if you haven't already gotten into the groove of what you're going to be thinking you're getting into, maybe you want to lose some weight next year, maybe you want to take on another part-time job, start a business, start something that's going to improve your life, if you haven't already taken steps to get there, it's going to be difficult day one, January 1st, to just get going. A lot of the times when I want to make change in my own life, I try to get started in November and December so that I can hit the ground running in the new year instead of just getting started with all the bad habits and everything that I'm bringing with me from the year before. Uh, people that gain weight, people that have health problems, and people that gain weight and people that have other health problems and issues and stuff like that, they're bringing all these bad habits over to where the first thing, the first sign of anything that, that deflates them, the first bad news, the first realization that things are going to be difficult, they sputter out like a, and break down like a cheap chair. So having some momentum going into the new year is very crucial, I've learned throughout the years of trying to get all this right myself and know where am I close to having it all right, but I have a much broader, better understanding since I've the past decade, I've just put a lot of effort in improving myself, and in a lot of ways I have improved, and in many other ways there is much more room for improvement. And I've even getting into taking my health even to the next levels, which has been a pretty interesting thing so far for me. I managed to quit smoking and drinking alcohol for the past 17 months. And if you would have asked me 18 months ago, had I ever done that, I would have thought that was insane. And I didn't wait till New Year's to do it. I got started the moment I realized I had to which was in like September or something like that. So that's well before the new year. I had plenty of time already, momentum down to where this year's just been clean of those things and I feel a lot healthier from not doing them. Not that I had a major problem with them. I didn't smoke every day, I didn't drink every day. But when you wanna bring your health to the next level, it's not always about doing more things, but taking things out of the picture. And those things had to go. So that's just an example. I can't really tell you what to do or give you advice or share anything with you on how to improve if I'm not doing it myself and vice versa. This coming up year can be an amazing year for you. And if you find yourself going back to old habits and not following through with your New Year resolution, just know that every day is a day you can start. February 2nd, February 8th, February 15th, March 3rd, March 20th, any day you can start. So if you fall off right away, or you're even on for the first quarter, even into the summer, and you have that fall off where life happens and you just completely go back to your old patterns, just know Take a little time, accept the facts that have happened, and get back going again. You're going to have to try more and more. Wouldn't you want to have more up-bats? You only want one day out of the year where you can make a change? Wouldn't you rather have 364 days? Who do you think is going to win? The person that has one in 364 days or 364 days out of 364 days? And that goes with anything any of us want to do to make our lives better any way, shape, or form. And it doesn't just make our lives better when we become better. We also are able to bring out into the world better things, bettering the world and humanity as a whole. Health is important for that. This new coming year is important for that. There's a lot of crazier things coming up and people are gonna have to have the mental health, the physical health, the spiritual health, 
and all these other things that keep a person healthy, both in mind, spirit, and body. If you don't have that, you are going to fall prey to some pretty crazy things, whether it's uh, mass uh, hysteria, following groups of people who are running around like chickens with their heads cut off, and you're out there with them because you guys don't know what the heck's going on, but you see other people going crazy, so you think, I'll join them. It said a cause sounds good. Why not? We'll go loot a store. Why not? It's, it makes sense. So if you're a little more mental health, if you're a little more uh, doing better within yourself, you're not going to go do a lot of that crazy stuff. You're going to try to help people mentally, physically, and all that thing so that they personally can get better and so that they can bring better things out into the world instead of hysteria, confusion, delusion, fear, and chaos. So let's make 2023 a healthier year. Not only for us, but for all of us. And just know, any day of the year is a great day to get started. You don't want to just wait for that occasion. You don't just want to wait for the summer. You don't just want to wait for this or that. Get started, get going, and then every occasion that happens, you're going to be healthy. Every time you go to the beach, you're going to look good. You're never going to have to worry about it when you get it right and keep going. Get help. Look up to people that have the things you want in health and anything else for that matter. Be guided, do the work, and let's get this done. I'm wishing you guys all a great 2023 and beyond. Let's do this together, and thanks for watching the channel. Take care.